Hi, I'm Justin with Jeff Cook Real Estate. Have you heard of a short sale in real estate? A short sale occurs when a homeowner owes more money on their mortgage than the actual market value of their home. And despite the name short sale, this is actually a long process for both the buyer and the seller. It's hard to give an exact timeline since every situation is different, but let's take a look into what goes on in most short sales. First, let's look at a typical timeline for sellers. The timeline for selling a home as a short sale depends on a lot of factors, like what state you're in, the actions of the homeowner, the actions of the bank, and just how big that difference is between the home's value and the mortgage value. The seller begins the short sale process by submitting a package to their bank with information about the homeowner's finances, information about the market value of the home, and the particular hardship that the homeowner is facing that would make the short sale a necessity. And because banks can choose their own timeline in which to respond and review these applications, the seller could be in for a pretty long waiting period here. If the homeowner is able to prove they qualify for a short sale, then they will be asked to provide a number of other documents such as pay stubs. This part of the process typically takes between one and three weeks. Next, the lender will request a property valuation, which can also take up to three weeks depending on the inspector schedule. Once the homeowner begins turning in offers to the lender, the lender may take several weeks to respond to the home buyer with a counteroffer. This could take one to three weeks or even longer if the home buyer and lender go through several rounds of negotiations. In a standard home sale, the escrow process generally takes about four weeks. In a short sale, however, the escrow process can take a bit longer. Therefore, homeowners and home buyers must be prepared for a wait. The short sale process looks different from the buyer's side, but they're still in for a wait as well. The key difference for a buyer between a regular sale and a short sale is that in a short sale, they must wait for the lender to respond in every step of the process. One of the reasons that many homeowners drop out of the short sale process is because there's no guarantee that the lenders have to even respond to the offers that the buyers make. So without the promise of a response, many home buyers will just eventually lose patience or interest in the home. Receiving a mortgage approval takes most home buyers a couple of months, starting with a pre-qualification and ending with the closing of escrow and the signing of mortgage documents. So, the best move for a serious home buyer is to get pre-approved for your mortgage. It takes most potential buyers at least one week to look at online listings and view a home they would like to buy. So once they've seen the house, the home buyer may come back for a second visit before making an offer, or they might make an offer immediately following the first visit. Once a potential buyer has identified a home they'd like to make an offer on, the negotiations begin. So once the final offer is signed by both parties, it goes to the lender for final approval. And this process typically takes up to two weeks. Now here's the kicker and the biggest difference for a buyer attempting to purchase a short sale home. Lenders can take up to 12 months to process a short sale package, even with an offer from a viable buyer. So in that time, the buyer has to wait for approval from the lender. If no response is received from the lender, it may be time for that interested buyer to move on to a different home. Altogether, the purchase of a short sale home can take up to a year or more. So home buyers who are looking to purchase a short sale home must be prepared to wait. When it comes to the short sale process, we can't say it enough. Patience is key. One way to make this whole process easier is to work with a real estate pro. And our team here at Jeff Cook Real Estate would love to help you out. All you have to do is give us a call at 855-HEY-JEFF. We love to break down everything for you. And be sure to subscribe to the channel. We know sometimes real estate can be overwhelming, but we boiled it all down to short, simple videos just like this one. So be sure to subscribe and we'll see you next time.